actually founded 50k on my live accounts i've gone through the phase one phase two passing phases followed all the rules i finally got him founded you remember what i said in the previous video i made for profits where i give you a few rules you guys need to follow when you want to trade pass and then make money to profits or how to get funded i gave you three basic rules where i talked about the risk try and get the risk out of the equation as much as possible meaning that try as much as possible to just trade and then get funded once you get funded and then you receive your first payout you actually get a refund of the initial amount you paid to acquire your profit account once you're able to do this you realize that risk factor is all gone because you've actually been reimbursed the amount of money you spend to acquire that account and you've now been funded you're not going through the stage of receiving a majority profit split from all your trading positions and this is the phase i'm on on my 50k account what is going on guys common forex the maxman here welcome to the youtube channel today in today's video we're doing something a little more different from what we normally do where i'll actually be taking you through how i got funded on my 50k account i've been through the phase one phase two followed all the rules they've given risk management and all that drawdown limits daily maximum drawdown limits and i finally gotten funded on my 50k account it basically means i'm now trading in a live account where i receive 95 percent of the profit splits from every single trading position i take i'll be breaking down the number of trades i took the various rules i followed some of which i've told you about already but how i implemented them in any time i take my trades i know you can't wait for this video to start but as we always do it i need you to be part of the family so i need you to just look below the screen hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell so you get notified anytime i go live or drop a video on youtube or smash that like button share with as many traders as possible we'll be right back Welcome back guys. So as you know it, the major stumbling block when it comes to profit challenges is a risk factor. Either the maximum drawdown or the daily drawdown limit. How to navigate your way through all that. So one thing I always tell my traders is the first thing you want to do before you take any trades. You know risk management is key when you're about to take your trade. So as a result of this, you want to calculate your position size, know how much you're risking on any trade you're about to take as well as how much you're also expected to make from that particular trading position. The more you do this, the more it reduces the psychological stress you place on yourself when you are taking your trades. The risk factor as well as having an edge with the trades you take. So today I'll be sharing with you a number of trades I took that helped me pass this 50k. These are trades I actually took with my VIP. So I lost on some, I also made money on some, but if your risk reward is strong, it does not affect your psychology even when you lose trade because losses are all part of trading. But always make sure you win big when you win and then you lose more when you lose. So now I want us to go onto the charts and then I'll share with you some of the few trades I took on this particular prop firm which enabled me to get funded on them the first one i want us to look at is the AUD USD. the AUD USD, i've taken so many trades on them but all of these if you look in the vip you see i've taken trades on all of them this one it was with the fundamentals it was on nfpd here i took this particular sell on nfpd it actually indicated strength in the dollar so it was very easy for me to jump in on this sell i caught about 50 pips on this AUD usd with this particular fundamental after this consolidation it also aligned nicely with my fibonacci as you can see clearly here fibonacci then I just dropped. So I caught my short term sell away because it was a fundamental. I wasn't expecting to do it long term. I also caught this nice breakout. If you go back to 27th of November, one of my favorite breakout strategies I actually use. So one of the things I actually want to look out for when I'm trying to trade breakouts, you know, candles was actually formed around here. So once I saw this, I took my buy stop loss right at the bottom of the range. As you can see, shared in the VIP as well. And it went all the way up took our profits the market now created a high here so this will mean by a break and then a retest if you don't understand what that is i have videos on this so just go back to them we have a break and retest on here now what did i expect i expected it to now what buy from here and then use the new high it formed as a reference point to create a resistance it went back into that zone got another sell here same one signal was shared with my community stop loss right here take profits as well short term you know you're focusing on what another retest if you go back you realize that we had a trend line here point a up was point b here then our point c is basically where the market now came to giving us a confirmation at the same time using that same reference point as what my resistance dropped nicely we made money on it then here was actually our fibonacci so you realize that AUD usd alone gave me about four solid trades on this particular profile account of mine then let's go to nzd card all these trades you can see here in my community and my vip community as well if you look at nzd card same confluence as the aed usd trade you see entry price here stop loss right on top of the range also a third touch of my trend line stop loss on top of the range take profit another retest from this breakout here using this as a reference point take profit here we made money on it 
what do you see happen it actually went back to hit the trend line and the same resistance again give another solid confirmation then it actually came back down and if you look at nzd usd same process resistance consolidation here bearish presence another sell if you come to this was a, the biggest of them gbp chf gbp chf was one of the trades that had the best risk to reward for me because if you look at this particular setup we have here sell here stop loss right on top of the range which was what after this bearish confirmation we had at the same time it was a resistance and it was a breakout so we we're expecting what it to come back and retest the reference point for the reversal was this resistance or this high it created here what does it mean break and then retest but the basis for us selling to the retest was the resistance and then bearish confirmation we had here so now we sold it got to this trend line it broke both trend lines then what do you see it kept going down so long term i was actually expected to make about 150 pips it went there in my favor consolidated and you can see how it has actually ended up if i still hold on to this it would have been way more than that it had the best risk to reward trade i've actually taken in the last three months we come to gpp usd as well for gpp usd i actually lost on this trade it was one of those bad days expecting a nice sell from this resistance and the reference point was way back there you don't win all the time you have your stop loss for a reason you need to calculate your position size so now how do i calculate my position size i actually do that here so let's say i'm about to take a trade on gpp usd this same gpp usd trade i took what was a stop loss 43 pips so now i just come here let's go to the lot size calculator it helps you know what lot size to use when you're taking your trades so 43 pips you know you have your maximum daily drawdown limit you have your maximum daily drawdown limit so now i don't like to go beyond two percent of my interest when i'm actually taking my trades and what's the account balance fifty thousand dollars so because it was low risk i didn't want to go beyond two percent because it was just one trade so now i just calculate and it tells you what the lot size i should actually use on this particular trading position is you so you realize that i lost thousand dollars on this particular trading position because i stuck to the stop loss rule i have on this particular trade you also have your profits calculator here with now what lot size are we using 2.33 so we come to the profit calculator it means i'm on the same trade 2.33 what was the take profit on that? What was our take profit on this trade? 1.2500. So we are selling lot size here, opening price, your take profit value. Now we simply would calculate and we know we are expecting to make what $2,330. So we are risking what $1,000 for $2,330. That's how you trade. That's how I actually make my decisions. So anytime I'm about to take any trade on my prop firm, I know my daily drawdown limit is this. This is how much I'm risking. This is how much I want to make. So once you have all those calculations in place, you are not stressed too much when it comes to what losing money on your trades because you know how much you are risking. You know how much you are expecting. You don't want to actually go through any stress when you are taking your trades. So depending on the account balance you actually want to buy. So now let's go to the website of my prop firm. Just hit the link in my description. They are actually running an advent promo every day and then what they actually offer for that. So this was yesterday's promo. It was 20th of December yesterday, so you just need a code day 20. Today is actually 21st of December. So every day and then the offer they have for you is for the whole of December, which is actually ending on the 31st of December. Discount code is day 21. And then with the day 21, you actually get 40% off. 40% off, and which is not even the amazing part. The amazing part is the no stop loss rule. You have no SL rule for this day 21. That's the best discount of I've ever had. No SL rule day 21 as your discount code it means that once you actually buy your account with a day 21 as your discount code you have no stop loss rule you're also allowed to trade high impact news and then you get 40 percent discount off it means that if this account is going for thousand dollars you're actually able to procure it for six hundred dollars if this account is going for hundred dollars you can actually buy it for sixty dollars all you need to do is to hit the link in my description use the discount code day 21 to purchase an account with the forex funder this is where you purchase your account so you have all the rules here, all the rules. You can hold trades over the weekend and then all that refundable fee, everything as well here. You go to purchase an account. So once you come here, what do you want to do next? You now want to enter your discount code. So your less fifty thousand dollar account. You, you enter your either MT4, MT5, the broker regular. Then you come here and you enter your discount code. So the discount code, like we said, day twenty one. Then you verify and see if it's valid. So you clearly see our discount code is valid. What do you see? 40% off. Instead of $305, how much are we paying? $183. You now have your 40% off after purchasing the account with this discount code. And then what you also get? No stop loss rule. With a no stop loss rule, you actually have less restrictions to trade. So you have no stop loss rule. And then you're also allowed to trade what high impact news. If you purchase this account tomorrow, you simply use day 22. But it's actually the details of your promo is released on a daily basis. So you don't know what you get tomorrow 
unless you wait for tomorrow to come then you purchase the account but it's better you actually take advantage of this no stop loss rule and then purchase an account with them remember what i said just try to get funded after getting funded try and make your, your initial payout it doesn't matter how much it needs to be once you get your initial payout you are refunded for how much you purchase that account so now there is no risk on your end because you've actually been reinvested how much you spend to buy that particular account once the risk is out of the way you have nothing to lose all you need to do is follow your rules strictly and then change your trading life with this particular funded account so that's what i'll be doing with my account i also have another 100k account which is still on my phase one but i've made about three thousand dollars on that particular account so i'm not stressing i'm not rushing all i need to do is to only come in trade when i have an edge and without an edge you'll be shooting yourself in the foot with an edge even if you lose your risk is minimal you have your stop loss there to protect you because you've made all the necessary calculations so you know how much you are risking on that particular trade so there you have it if you find this video extremely helpful as all my videos have been make sure you smash that like button subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime i go live i drop a video on youtube you also want to keep up with me on my socials common forex on instagram common forex on telegram common forex on tiktok common forex on twitter as well also hit the link in my description to also join my trading community the common forex trading community on telegram Thank you very much for joining me on this one. Peace.